You might be wondering why you need to write clear, convincing arguments while you're at university. Academic writing generally requires you to be analytical, critical, and adopt a particular position. You will need to know how to develop an argument and express it clearly and cohesively. But what do we mean by arguments? We aren't referring to two friends at the pub arguing over whose sports team is better. We also aren't referring to contradiction or pure disagreement. For our purposes, an argument can be defined as an informed point of view and an attempt to persuade a reader using an intellectual or critical process. An academic argument should always be three things. Firstly, logical and based on good reasoning. Secondly, rational, so evidence is observable and verifiable. And thirdly, impersonal, based on evidence and not on personal feeling. An academic argument should be reasonable, which means it is not biased or based only on persuasion, but is clear, considered and incorporates appropriate research. An argument in an academic essay consists of a thesis statement, which is backed up by logical, relevant and well-developed reasons and evidence from credible sources. Here are Study Smarter's three top tips for writing clear, convincing arguments. They are make a firm statement, argue your case, and put it to the test. Let's start with making a firm statement. When you are constructing your argument, it is very important to make a firm statement about the position you are taking. But how do you do that? This is where you need to have a thesis statement. A good thesis statement sums up the main point you are making in your essay and tells the reader exactly what it is you are arguing. Your thesis statement should be debatable as well as being clear and concise. It should be supported with appropriate evidence and examples and it should effectively limit the scope of your essay. To help you find your thesis statement, you should first interpret what the assignment question is asking you to do. Then, do some research on the topic and use mind maps and brainstorms to help you decide what position you will take. Remember, an effective argument needs to take a specific position, so don't be vague or sit on the fence. To help you practice, have a look at this 2012 article from ABC News on cigarette smoking. Now let's say you are trying to construct an argument around this topic. What might your argument be? Do you agree or disagree? What could be some examples of different positions you might take here? These are examples of some of the arguments you could make based on this topic. Notice how each is clear and direct about the position that is being taken. Your thesis statement lets your reader know exactly what your essay will be arguing. Your thesis statement needs to be part of your introduction. When you write your introduction, you should start by giving a broad overview of the topic, including any contextual or background information that the reader needs to know. Then you should use your thesis statement to outline exactly what your argument is going to be. The last part of your introduction should define the scope of your argument and outline the points you will be making. Another good way of establishing your position is by giving your essay a title. This will help the reader to understand and anticipate your thesis statement, which will consolidate your argument. Have a look at these example titles. See how they relate to the different positions on the cigarette argument which we discussed earlier? Once you have established your position, you need to provide support for it. Our next top tip is to argue your case. To do this, you should thread argument and evidence throughout your essay in order to support your thesis statement. Each of your paragraphs should address one main point, and it should be clear how that point relates to your main argument. 
But what support material should you use in your paragraphs? Use this model as a guide. You can include explanations, examples, evidence, and evaluation in any combination or order to support the points you are making. Make sure your sources are credible, reliable, and academic. If you do not use a variety of appropriate sources, your argument will be weakened. Another method that will help to strengthen your argument is using opposition. This is when you refer to opposing arguments to show you have considered all aspects of the topic. If you acknowledge and address opposing arguments, you can deal with any objections, demonstrate the validity and strength of your argument, and enhance your credibility. Don't deliberately present the other argument in a dismissive way, but use it to show the reader that you have considered alternative arguments and use these considerations to further strengthen your own position. Pause the screencast and take a look at this example paragraph. The author has addressed the opposing argument and used it to strengthen their own argument, but they have done so in a reasonable, and fair way, which enhances their own credibility. Our final top tip is to put it to the test. This will help to ensure that your argument is clear and convincing. When you have constructed your argument, you should look at it again from a reader's perspective and ask questions. Does it flow well? Is your argument properly supported and your evidence credible and convincing? Make sure that your thesis statement and your position is clear to the reader right from the start of the essay. You can also use the CLEAR checklist to evaluate your argument. Is it cohesive, logical and expressed well? Make sure you have been analytical rather than just descriptive and check that all the points you have made are relevant. If you have done all of these things, your argument will be clear and convincing. We hope you enjoyed this Study Smarter screencast. Remember, if you want to write clear, convincing arguments, you should make a firm statement, argue your case, put it to the test.